What kind of energy do we need for today? What should we be looking at? Let's ask the River Witch Oracle. Hi, my name is Renee Olson. I am the Noose River Witch, and I am here with your daily dose of positivity. Um, I'm having reviews today. What kind of tea do you start your day with? Do you use tea? Do you have coffee? Slight confession, I do start with a cup of decaf. Um, so I do have a cup of decaf before I get to my tea. But, you know, what do you have? All right, I do want to start by addressing something that happened um, at the DNC. I'm not gonna use any names because I don't want algorithms to either pull, promote or squelch this video. I want this to be just a general discussion. So there was an episode where a young man um, displayed emotion um, or a love for their parent and apparently everyone lost their minds, right? Um, I think that as a society, at least as an American society, we have placed so much emphasis on masculinity that it creates an environment where when someone shows, especially a man, shows um, love, compassion, sincerity, or any of those attributes that for some reason the world has decided <clears throat> are feminine, they are immediately ridiculed for it. <clears throat> and I think that this placement of that energy on those emotions are what lead to uh, a plethora of issues, including homophobia, um, toxic masculinity, um, I don't know what's another word for it. I don't know, but you get what I'm saying, right? Um, we need to really look at how we are raising the young men in our society. We are teaching them that it is weak to have compassion. And that is going to be the downfall of society in my opinion. Um, we really need to focus on getting the energy out there of being positive, of being helpful, and nurturing those around us to become better people. And I'm sorry, but love and compassion are part of that. I know it. I have a lot of people on my Facebook page that complain constantly about this is pos negative positivity. This is too much. This is, you can't be positive all the time. I have bad, I have problems. I, yeah, we all have problems. The difference is you either sit and you wallow in those problems and you get up every Monday and you go, oh, it's Monday. Or you say, you know what? Yep, there's a lot of crap in my life and I'm not going to let that crap dictate how I interact with others. All right, sorry for the tangent. I just wanted to address that a minute. Let's take it, go ahead and take our card from the River Witch Oracle. Our card for today is Muscadine. Those in the South, you know what these are. You love them. I know, I love them. Our keywords for the Muscadine card are gratitude, robust, and bounty. Right, so when we think about the muscadine card, we're thinking about later in the year, we're thinking about harvest and fall and all those wonderful, the temperature going down, not fake fall like it is right now. It's gonna be back in the 90s this week, unfortunately, but the harvest, the end of the year, we're thinking about gratitude, we're thinking about paying homage to those that whomever, whatever deity you follow, we're paying homage and paying respects for those things that we have we're thinking about that strongness. If you have muscadine in your yard, you know they are robust. They will grow anywhere. They will take over if you let them. We need to empower that strength. We want to pull that strength within and become those wonderful people that we know we can be. Um, so that's our card for today. I hope you've enjoyed your reading. Take a moment, be good to each other, and, and, and let boys cry, y'all. Let boys be people and stop with this craziness. I don't even understand it. Anyway, um, I want you to have a glorious Sunday and I'll talk to you soon.